Hey Ligari friends, check out this video. This look was requested by one of our viewers. If you have any ideas for a project or colors you'd like to see, let us know in the comments below. Enjoy the video. back everyone we're back at it again I'm gonna be doing a uh, black base hot pink highlights thanks to Stacy who requested these colors and we're not only just gonna do the board I'm gonna show you how to do the simple 3d technique with our pool trial so once this resin sets up I'm gonna come back and kind of mess with the surface and it's gonna bring all the metallics up and not let them settle back out because it's setting up but the epoxy will so super cool technique it's really easy it's a lot of fun you guys are gonna see it all right here. So, the most common thing is doing your base coat on the whole board or counter or floor, whatever you prefer. And obviously we've already mixed these colors up. No point in showing, showing you how to mix metallics in every video. So we'll get the majority of that out. I'm using a foam roller, not a 3 8 nap, not a hair roller, because I'm not gonna be blending these. I just wanna get a base coat down. That way we're not running the chance of hairs getting in it, stuff like that, so. Remember, whenever you're doing top coats or finished coats, always use a foam roller or a paintbrush or a squeegee. Last thing you wanna do is get roller hairs in your final coat. So I like, to, I like to use my rollers as like a squeegee, apply a little pressure, flatten it off, and cover a lot of square foot quickly when you're doing this technique, instead of just going slow and trying to roll it all around. So I'm just trying to get this stuff as even as I can. Again, guys, I can't emphasize enough about when you're doing boards, you gotta keep, you gotta make sure they're level. So we've already leveled this board and we also routered the edges so they're nice and round. Whenever you're doing a counter, you never wanna do square edges. Always sand them or router them. That way you got a nice round profile for the epoxy to roll over. If you don't like the big round edges, just sand it a little. Usually 80 grit will sand the Formica edges down um, and they'll just give you a little bit of a rounded edge and that'll help the, the epoxy flow over and cover those edges a lot better. So it feels like a good thick coat. An easy way to test if you got your product kind of rolled out good is just apply even pressure and just roll it. See how it's not pulling a big bead? If we had a thick spot, it would pull product and start building up like that. So as long as you just keep even pressure and you roll over your board and you're not pushing a bunch of product, that means you got a pretty good even coat everywhere. So I'm happy with the top. Now I'll start my edges. I always like to paint my edges on my sample boards. It just makes them look a lot nicer. And you can do, you know, we have a lot of people that do wall art with our products, stuff like that. We got a lot of artists that use our resins for pretty much anything you want, really. So notice I'm not going really fast. I don't want the epoxy flipping off the roller and getting everywhere. So I roll a little on the top, get it on my roller, and then I'll roll that edge. So we have videos of this 3D technique, we just haven't done it in a while, so I thought it'd be a Perfect colors to do that. It's kind of a little bit funner of colors to work with. So now I'm just gonna lightly swirl this. This will help any bubbles release to the surface and pop. 
and you can kind of see them when they when they come up they'll just pop on their own we don't have to torch this we don't really have to spray chemicals or nothing it's just a it's just a really high-end resin with additives that make the bubbles rise and pop on their own okay so i'll leave that in the bucket in case i need it what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna pour out random puddles everywhere because again i'm gonna do a 3d texture to this after about a half an hour 45 minutes so i just want to kind of Pour random, different ways, different amounts everywhere. And a, a tip is when you guys are doing the hot pinks and stuff, if I if I was to do the hot pink base and then black, it, it actually makes the, the pink look almost reddish, like a reddish pink, because you have the majority of it, the pink, and then the black highlights. So, if you want that pink to really pop and look pink, you gotta do the black base. You don't, you don't wanna do the hot pink first. Always do black first. You want the majority of it black. So now I'm just going around right on my corners and getting color there. That way I don't have my edges all black looking. the same the same tool that I'm gonna do my 3d texture with so it's a pool trial you can get them at most uh, uh, Home Depot's Lowe's they're about they're really cheap they're under like 15 bucks or something and I'm just gonna kind of keep it flat and run it on the surface and just start molding these around I don't want to blend too much so as you can see it looks textured now but this will go away and level out. And that's why we gotta come back and do it again. But again, I'm trying to just not blend this too much. And notice I'm going different ways. Left, right, up and down. If you scrape a spot, just fill it back in. And again, this, this pink will pop back. Anytime you blend colors, it kind of it kind of mutes them and they want to disappear. They will pop back. And then we'll just we'll just pour this back in here for our edges later. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna let this sit for about 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do the same technique I just did but as it gets sticky and starts setting up, it's gonna keep these metallics suspended in the surface, which is gonna create like a 3D depth crater look. It looks really cool, so stay tuned. All right, so it's been about two hours. We had to wait a little longer because it's cold in the warehouse here, so it's taking a little longer to set up. Um, but. If you try to do this too early, it'll just level out and the, and the texture and the look will kind of disappear. So you have to go on as sticky. And a good way to test is you can do a corner, <clears throat> let it sit for 10 minutes, come back and look. If it still has that 3D look, then you're probably ready to go. But this is pretty sticky, so now I'm gonna just hold the trowel flat as I can and I'm just gonna start running across the surface. And again, guys, it's sticky. Obviously, a counter and stuff isn't gonna be moving around like this board, right? But all we're trying to do is just kinda scuff up this surface all different directions, and it's gonna keep that, that 3D look to it. And there's a lot of, a lot of different ways. We've, we've done where we just kinda flatten it off everywhere. Stuff like that looks really cool. I kinda like the more chunky, kind of jaggedy look that we're getting right now. But the more you do it, the, the easier you'll get at, you know, making the texture. Starting out is kind of a pain, especially since this board's not stuck down like a countertop or something would be. And even if you have missed spots, you could leave those. We'll kind of hit everything in here. But you can see the cool look that that creates by just hitting that when it starts to set up. Really, really cool technique. And the 
reason it's going to stay like this is because the metallics won't settle back out. The epoxy will, it'll be flat, but it's going to keep this, this texture look in it because of the metallics. So I'll just kind of go all kinds of different ways. It's kind of the trick. You don't, you don't want to do the same patterns over and over. Go all different directions. And again, there's a lot of different techniques you can do doing the 3D effects. This is just one of my favorites. Because it looks so wild and textured. And then we'll look for any missed spots. Just kind of hit those lightly. That's looking pretty, pretty darn cool. So yeah, that's how you do the 3D look. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We did our 3D technique here today, black base, hot pink highlights. This was a really fun project for us. It turned out amazing. Hey Ligari friends, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our awesome projects that are coming up. If you have any suggestions for future projects, go ahead and leave them down in the comment area below. We'd love to hear from you. See you guys next time.